KPI XY's Wilson Walker joins us from Martinez with the added benefit of getting your vote in early. Wilson? We talked about a surge of voting last week. Well, indications are it is picking up steam. Now, on one hand, that could change the way we all get results on election night because if you have already voted, it is now on deck and waiting to be counted. So all of these are going through, pictures being taken of the signature. Those signature images are sent to our signature verification team, which is across the street. Not just important, your signature is the very first thing the machine looks at on the first pass. Once they get verified, they'll come through again, and exceptions will be sorted out into these other categories. And they're already doing a lot of sorting here in Contra Costa County. About 5,000 ballots a day came in last week. Another 20,000 came in just this morning. This is the ballots that were picked up from the drop boxes yesterday afternoon, just yesterday afternoon. Typically, at this point in the process, that cart represents everything that we would have received since Monday. Voters continue to show up early with turnout in the county already nearing 15 percent. Oh, I drove all the way over here from Concord just to mail my ballot. I wanted to make sure it got here, and the only way to do it is do it yourself. And that is giving the county a chance to work ahead. The ballots that check out are already moving along, getting staged for the scanning process. And the hope is that every ballot in before November 3rd will be in that first batch of numbers we all see when polls close on election night. It's a courageous goal, to be honest. It's optimistic. Uh, but that's our goal is that our 8 o'clock report on election day will have all the vote by mail ballots we've received through Monday. But if you really want to make sure your vote is in those first numbers, make sure we get it by Saturday, Halloween. I can guarantee you, if we get it by Halloween, it will be in those numbers. Now, Wilson, the ballots that are getting pulled aside from that machine, what happens to them? Well, as we explained back in the spring during, or in February, during the primary, if they can catch that ballot, catch the problem, they'll come trying to solve the problem with you. They'll ring you up and say, hey, we have a ballot that's missing this or it has this kind of problem, and they'll try to resolve that. And they've got a pretty good clearance record. No matter where you live, they will reach out to you and try to solve these problems. So there you go. Another added benefit of getting your ballot in early. It's increasing the time that you're giving these election workers to reach out to you and clear up any problems. They say about 1% of ballots come in without a signature at all. So that's the kind of work they're doing. Extra time means more time to do stuff like that. And as you heard, we get some results sooner as well. Liz. Yeah, every vote counts. All right, Wilson.